Hey guys. Okay, so I've noticed that people want to hear more about my credit acceptance story. I'm not done yet, and I'm... Okay, I don't even know where to begin. So, I think I'll begin in the beginning, right? Isn't that where you're supposed to begin? Okay, so, when I first bought my car, I saved my, all my money, I saved, um, you know, $2,500, you know, to put down on the car. I think I had 2000 actually. Anyways, so I went and I found this. Because I had just had a car repossessed because I was spending like $600 a month just on the car payment. And then it was like 200 for my insurance. It was just nuts. And so I was like, I can't afford it. You know, so I just like kind of gave it back to them. I knew I'd take a ding on my credit. So I was like, okay, I know I'm going to have to spend a little bit more money on a car. But I found this guy on Craigslist, Craigslist and it was on Super Auto Sales in Modesto, California. And I went down there and this car just like, it, I went down there for an SUV, but this car just like, I felt a connection with this car, okay? I know it sounds stupid. I'm a psychic medium. I feel like this is my car. I don't know. It was really weird. So, um, what's weird, okay, oh, I don't, it's like so hard because it's like, there's so much. So, I get in, I go down there, and I'm down there like all day, right, and like, damn, these guys were looking at my websites and everything, I was, it kind of made me feel weird, but anyways, let me get the paper. See, I keep all my papers. Okay, so I bought from Super Auto Sales. Nice guy, Junior. Nice, because they were really nice to me because they knew they were going to totally screw me over. I see that. I always want to see the good in people, and I'm like, no, no. No, Tara, listen. Listen to yourself. Okay, so I bought the car, right? Okay, so I was like, okay, I was thinking, I was thinking, I wanted to spend like $300 a month on a car payment. You know, way better than $568 like I was paying. Okay, so I found this car and I was, it's a 2008 Chevy Malibu. I'm thinking, okay, 2008, I just had like a 2015 car. You know, a little older, like 8000 or something, you know. Maybe like, I have to borrow money. So like maybe like 10000 you know. Okay, so they're... That's what they told me, and through this investigation, through this investigation, see, um, they, so, okay, so I thought 8,700, you know, I was like, okay, that's, that's good, like, six for the car, a couple to borrow it, you know, so, Mind you, I never signed really anything. It has my electronic signature on it. Um, but my annual percentage rate was 23.3. But up here it says 22.99. So I don't know. And then finance charge. Um, oh. and now, and now financed. Set 8,780.51. Total amount of payments. It says it'd be 13,370.06. But with my calculations, I got twelve thousand eight hundred seventy for six because they stole five hundred out of this. See, um, so guess how much I spent? Guess how much? Plus, okay, plus the twenty five hundred dollars that I put down on the car, which would have paid for the car, two thousand eight Chevy Malibu. It cost me fifteen thousand three hundred and seventy. Dollars. Oh, and six cents. Fifteen thousand dollars for a two thousand eight Chevy Malibu. This is the saddest part. Okay, well actually I haven't got to that part yet. Okay, so seriously. My payments are gonna be three oh six forty three and they're gonna start on four twenty five two thousand seventeen. Okay? See this? I got another one. That is different. 
A lot of this stuff is different. A lot of this stuff is different. Yes. Yes. It's just crazy the amount of bullshit. If you don't sit there for hours and read this, that you would ne never see. I mean, like, restocking fee. $500 restocking fee. Okay? Restocking fee will not... Okay. Vehicles cash flow... Oh my god, this is just... It's, it's, I, I just... Okay. So $15,000 for a 2008 Chevy Malibu. Okay? Then I realized... You know, after looking through this stuff... Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. It's kind of weird how this one says... 12,000. This one says 13,000. 12,876. 13,370. I'm not a mathematician, but just saying. I mean, really. Oh, and then gap insurance, $710. Yeah, my down payment, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I guess the selling price was $9,475. I financed $8,780 on that one. Yeah, yeah. Had my payments by 1000 And guess what? These are my payments. <laughs> See, these are all my payments. Every receipt, every time I did it, every little, mm. and but this is what they sent. Well, I highlighted them. I have a new one back here, but they have a little thing called transaction correction. That's when you pay. You have freaking proof you pay, but transaction correction. Bam! They take it off, and then they charge you interest, and then they charge you a late fee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have literally confirmation numbers for everything. I paid for my car. I paid the $15,000 for my car. Then they took it off my freaking taxes. And then they took it off my credit report. Yeah. Yeah. I have those at records too. Yeah, then they took it off my credit report. And then, mm, I mean, really, there's a lot more to this story. I need to start breaking it down. So, seriously, I want my motherfucking car back. I don't need to cuss. This is my license plate. The other one's still on the car. I still have the key. It belongs to me. Okay? And seriously, because, like, people have bad credit, and because they're, like, don't have enough, like, money, just, like, the amount of time I, like, I paid for this car. And then you guys hide it on me. You have people break into, it's just nuts. Okay? The next video I'm going to have, I will literally, I'll have a timeline. I'll break it down. Because I know, you know what, they do this. They do this. And I totally, for one, super auto sales totally stole probably my, down, my whole down payment, if not, and my car. Because I found who has it. They say they don't. But then the DMV records say that they bought it and they have it. Ugh. Whew. Sorry. Anyways, um, yeah, so. I'll be back. I'm keeping it real. I have nothing to hide about lie about or hide you know why would you take somebody it's a 2008 Chevy Malibu and then it's kind of weird because after you guys take it you guys did another credit check on me on 420 the same day my good friend got hit in a head-on collision it all goes together dude and it's weird <laughs> It sounds like a movie, but seriously, I have all the evidence and everything ties in together where it's a little weird. 
I want to think I'm crazy. I do. But what's up with this car? Anyways. Have to go get my kids. I have to walk now, you know, because... Because I'm never going to be in another car alone again after this. So anyways. I'll be back. And I'll have updates to the next part of the story for you. So, have a good day. Bye.